We touch our face about a thousand times a day. When these suits are 115, 116 degrees, you can, and you're losing three to five liters of sweat every time you go in inside these suits, you can imagine that you just want to rub your eyes or rub the sweat from your face. And you can't do that because that's an opportunity to come into contact with the virus. I was recently uh, deployed on behalf of the World Health Organization to, uh, to Guinea to help with the Ebola outbreak. When you're providing care uh, to, to, to patients, you're constantly being exposed to blood, to vomit, to diarrhea, to, to every bodily fluid that, uh, that's there. I'm sure you've seen pictures of the personal protection equipment or PPE that uh, we're required to wear. We start with a base layer of scrubs um, and then these thick rubber boots that come up to our knees. On top of the scrubs and the boots, we actually wear an impermeable Tyvek suit um, that uh, is incredibly hot. And then we also wear two pairs of gloves. Uh, on top of the Tyvek suit, we have to put a hood uh, that is an impermeable hood that covers every other part of our, or part of our head. We have to wear a respirator that covers our nose and our mouth, and then finally a pair of goggles uh, that cover, cover our eyes on top of the hood. So basically, literally nothing is, uh, is left uncovered. So that's just getting dressed. The PPE itself is, uh, is a good first step. But even with all these protective equipments, you're still handling needles, um, and you're still being exposed to, to patients' uh, body fluid. We talk a lot about how, um, how difficult the working conditions are and how hot it is and how restrictive these suits are, but I would say it comes nowhere near the difficult experience that it must be to be a patient, to be infected with it, or to be the loved one of a patient who's going through that. And for me, that's, um, that's, a, that's something that I always think about. That's the thing about this virus is that's actually really I hate to say the word easy, but it's really easy to control. I'm a firm believer that we can control this virus with just simple barrier precautions.